Okay, now I have, um, let's see, I painted this side that was yesterday morning, and now it is in the afternoon of the next day, and I took the tape off of this side and have put tape on this side, and I don't know if this is gonna ruin this paint or not. So I tried to be kind of gentle, and I will be gentle when I take the paint off, but you know, we don't know if this is gonna work until we try it. So I'm gonna try it, and then I'll let you guys know if it works. So taped it up, and I have the same paints as yesterday. They're just left over. I just covered them, and now I'm just gonna do it all again on this side, and hopefully it turns out beautiful. Never know. All right, so we're gonna put the topper on. I kind of just cover the whole thing because I'm gonna just do <clears throat> dots and cover it like I did yesterday. So it's not gonna be blossoms per se, it's a blooming technique and it's still the blowing and the topper and the, the whole technique and even the way, but then we're, we're gonna tilt it side to side. So it looks kind of like an ocean with lines this way, so. All right. Get my handy spatula so it's still over here in case I need it. Alrighty, let's just go for it. That's all I know to do. Okay. Just gonna put down a few colors and then blow it and then do it again over and over till the whole thing is covered. All right, put the topper on. All right. Okay. Whoops, stuck my thumb in it. <laughs> oh guys, I love this technique. It was so messy, but it's so much fun. Like I need any encouragement to be messy. I'm already so, so messy. Ooh. All right. Yeah, so I'm just doing it in different orders because then it comes out differently. All right, let's see. All right, look at that, it's looking pretty. So I'm just gonna keep going. I need some here to go both ways and I need a little more here and there. Gonna do this color. I'm gonna do it long ways. I use this dark. Yeah, the hardest part is gonna be getting it to look anything like the one from yesterday. Even though I'm using the same colors, it looks like we're getting more lacing today than yesterday, which is interesting, which normally I would be ecstatic about, except that I want it to match what we did yesterday. So, you know. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to kind of turn it like that. That's kind of crazy. Wish I hadn't. I wish it hadn't gone up that much. Boy, I'm judgy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do over here. The reason I'm putting the lighter green on on the bottom on both sides is because I know that it was along the the light green was along the edge on the other side, so. All right. 
great. Well, I am really loving it. I would like a little bit of dark right there, I think. So I'm just going to do a little bit. I can't even hardly tell the color difference there, can you? I splashed it, so I've got to fix that. Oh, pretty. All right. I think I will put oh, a little bit of this. Hmm. Right here. Remember, this is your artwork that you're making, so make it however you like it. Mess with it as long as you want. Well, even if this did not turn out, this was a fun experiment. I'm having fun. I bought two of these teapots, so I thought I might try an actual bloom bloom, like to make it look like flowers and flower colors instead of just the ocean. But this was my favorite, and it's my first teapot, and I really wanted this. So, all right, I'm going to tilt it back this way a little bit, because all that's going to be coming off because it's the tape. So I want some of this color to go back down here. <sighs> All right, guys, I am really excited to see how this turns out. So bear with me. And I will be back tomorrow, <laughs> which will be just in a minute on the video. And I will let you guys know how it turned out. All right, guys, so this is dry now. And I'm scared, but I am going to take this tape off. And I hope it didn't take all... This off, but you know, we'll never know unless we try. So, drum roll, please. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, gotta get where I can put my fingernail to keep it from ripping. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so far. It's catching right there a tiny bit so sorry I know I'm blocking you from seeing okay that is ripping guys do not want this to rip ah. no I'm not past it this piece uh, and we have a little spot right there and maybe a little spot right here hmm. all right let's keep going I'm gonna pull it from this direction this time I think I have figured out a more method better method all right Are y'all bored yet, or are you feeling the stress I'm feeling undoing this, trying to hope that it doesn't rip the paint underneath? Which one? <laughs> ah, look. So far, pretty good. 
actually. Woohoo! And it looks a lot the same. Yay! Wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this take total experiment. I will try to clean this up yet. So we shall see. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired. Okay, so here is the teapot that I have done the you know bloom technique on. You saw that. So now it is time to resin it. So I already have the resin mixed up. I am using the KS resin just to show you. This stuff is wonderful. It dries. It looks like glass. So you just use the one to one. And I mixed it for three minutes and we are ready to go. So I'm just gonna use my hands. I have double double gloved, make it easier if I need to take one off. So I'm just gonna spread this around. I have it all taped. All right, welcome back. Um, so I have resined this twice, actually. I did it once and then it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it. And I'm so happy I went ahead and put a second layer of resin. Now I'm going to take the tape off and see how it looks. Ah, some soup.
It is done. close-ups. All right, here is my finished little teapot. Isn't that cute? Let's go in for some close-ups. So there it is. There's my little teapot. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so you get notified for my videos and be inspired.